Just wanted to uh, post a quick video on the 7000 SXT uh, install. Mine's doing a going through a uh, regeneration, the second regeneration cycle. But um, this thing was actually uh, pretty easy to set up. There's a couple links that I'll share um, that show some of the uh, instructions. Uh, it doesn't actually come with much. Uh, it comes on a big giant pallet <laughs> uh, that they drop up at your house, and so you gotta kind of deal with that. Uh, but it comes in the two units. You get the tank, and then uh, there's the add-on piece here that you can add um, the res up, the little container thing. Um, I'll talk about that here in a second. And then the big thing you gotta try to figure out here is how you're gonna do with your water. I live in a pretty new house. Um, so basically what we had here was just this thing was connected. This is the house water comes in this way, comes out this way. Behind this wall right here is actually one of the three uh, water heaters in my house. And um, so we just, uh, you know, we cut into this. We tried to figure out, we had to go shut the water on and off at the street, try to figure out which was actually coming in and out because it wasn't labeled. Um, <clears throat> once we figured that out, we just used these shark bite connectors. These things are freaking amazing. Um, I use I have one inch pipe here. Make sure just for ease of use whatever size pipe you're using here when you buy the unit this piece right here that you uh, This piece right here. You want this to be one inch too So if you have one inch pipe over here just makes it a whole heck of a lot easier getting one inch here I think it defaults at three quarter inch on the websites uh, or the ones that I've seen so if you have one inch pipe um, and you got one inch coming from your pipe then you'd have to step it down or step it up or something like that so make sure you you do that we ended up we were going to use pecs we use these shark bite connectors which are typically you just put the pecs but we got the shark bite connectors to um, the male end and then we just found these heater hoses um, that were one inch and they worked out perfect for the size and so we just went ahead and went that route um, and it worked out good the unit's really easy to set up. It comes with the, the container, and then it comes with this thing, um, and then it comes with a control. Mine actually came with a resin already in it. Uh, I've seen videos where they talk about the resin and putting it in uh, and the method of doing that. Mine actually came with the resin uh, already in it. So that was pretty easy. Uh, you just There's a cap on top. You put this thing, screw this thing on top, put this deal in, um, and then you take these these little things these will pop out and then you can you can see how it shows you here to Switch it to bypass you can turn this and it switches to bypass So then the water actually just flows through this way it doesn't actually flow through the system anymore So if you ever needed to do maintenance or something like that You could flow this thing for bypass and then you could actually take this whole unit off And you could still get water into your house what I'm actually planning on doing is finding a, a piece that I can put into my water line that comes in here that just gives me a little shut off out here. So that way, if any worst th case something happens in my house, I can come shut the water off to the house here versus having to run out to the street. Um, so, you know, you fill it up with, uh, with salt. This thing right here is pretty cool because otherwise this stuff that you use to regenerate your, uh, for the health of your beads, um, you just dump it in there, but this little container you can buy extra, and then it has a little thing right here that wicks down in. Um, and you got to do a little bit of surgery. I had to you got to drill holes back here to to get this thing in, and there are some instructions. Make sure you read. You do have to kind of prime this thing with water a little bit first, um, and then of course back here um, in the house we we have a a clean out right here. And then this is what well, we basically had to build a standpipe, which is pretty simple. It was about seven dollars worth of PVC, plus about eight dollars for the primer and for the uh, glue and stuff that we needed here. Um, but you do need to have the have the U joint here, so for back pressure purposes, <clears throat> and that's really easy. So uh, this was just capped, and I hacksawed this off, and then we found you know basically built. Uh, the right size here too and so you got two drain lines one drain line actually comes from up here uh, on the top of the system from the control unit and then you have another drain line that actually comes from the tank here so just in case this thing gets uh, I don't know if I can see, you can see it back over here you go um, just in case this thing gets too full this tank is too full you can't see it back behind there but it'll start to drain out uh, of the drain line here so 
Um, that's really about it. I mean, it's pretty simple. There's a number of different things on the programming side that you do. Um, you basically have to set it back to 1201 PM to get it into the programming mode. And then there's a number of different things that you have to select on there based on, uh, you know, this app, this happens to be a, a 64,000 grain unit. So there's some things I needed to change uh, off of the defaults and a few things that you've got to do there too. But, but uh, it looks really cool. It's a, it's a, it's a nice system. I got the contain, I got the, the salt bucket that was a little bit bigger. I'm not sure that I'll need it. Um, but if you have a newer house uh, where, you know, the last several houses I've lived in where you just have this little out in your garage, then uh, you just cut and figure out, turn your water off to your house, of course, and cut and then turn the have somebody in the garage and then turn it back on and figure out which side's coming in because they typically don't label the direction of the water flow here. Good guess is the water uh, on my house, uh, I'm in my garage pointing back towards the house and the water's actually, the water main is on the street that way. So if I had a gun to my head, I would have guessed that the water was coming in this way, but it was really kind of hard to tell because uh, the, the pipes actually go into the wall back behind here and they, they don't go directly into the water heater. So you can't really figure that part of it out, but um, really cool system. And you know, the thing you got to kind of get creative with is how you're going to do this and what system you're going to use for that. If you're just going to use all copper, or you're going to use brass fittings or whatever. Uh, and you're going to do some welding or some uh, soldering. And I didn't want to do any of that. I can do it, but it's just a pain. And you obviously have to be a lot more precise with your links and things like that. This actually gives me the flexibility to, to, uh, you know, move the unit around a little bit and, um, you know, makes it a little bit easier to do that. That PEX isn't as flexible as you think it might be. This actually is more flexible than the PEX. So a, a similarly, uh, length piece of PEX would be a lot more difficult, uh, to, to get to curve that way. Um, if you wanted to, to do that particular setup. So, uh, really, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, um, there's a couple other videos out there, uh, and I'll link to those too, that just kind of walk you through sort of the basic setup and then a couple uh, guides that we use just, uh, cause who knows how yours is going to come uh, out of the box. you you may buy from somebody different and your setup may come out of the box a little bit different. Uh, I know the 5,000, at least the units that I've seen, these are different. These things are super cool, you know, these little things pop up out of there and then you just push these things in and clamp them back down. So it's really, really easy to set up. I was really surprised at how easy it was to set up. And then I'm just going through a couple regeneration cycles um, and letting this tank fill up. And, uh, you know, it takes a while. I think it usually takes about, this is a one hour cycle and there's about a 10 minute cycle that drains water out of the tank first. And this is a one hour cycle and it's actually um, pulling water that from inside of the brine here that goes down and cleans up the resin. And then uh, the next process will actually be filling, uh, filling the tank back up again. So, uh, so yeah, you'll go through that process a few times and then it'll ultimately show you on the screen here, how many gallons of water you have before the next regeneration time that you're going to have to go through. But, um, Really cool system. Uh, I think we'll be really happy with it and definitely happy with how easy it was to set up and uh, and get working. Um, but uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, post away. Have fun, enjoy, and uh, good luck.